Yeah, it's like I'm having a trend of making these short videos, these short, like, three to four, five minute videos the past couple of days. Like, two days, two nights ago, I made a video about Food Wars returning. Yesterday, my video was about the Pokemon anime returning. And now I'm here to talk about One Piece. Again, this is another One Piece update for, in terms of the English dub. Um, now, in terms of the English dub, um, I got... Well, now we have full confirma confirmation. We already had confirmation a few days ago, like I think a week ago, that the English dub would actually be able to be streamable. Um, really today, now. And I'm making this video today to let you guys know uh, if you guys haven't watched it or if you haven't you know, seen it already, especially what's, what's going on and stuff like that um, in, the sta in the United States. Um, if you guys want to, I guess, want to you know, take a chill pill and what's going on, and just, you know, sit back and try to relax from what's going on. Um, one thing, if you're an English dub One Piece fan, you're in luck because as of today, you're able to stream the 13 new English dub episodes that, you know, was announced like last month and that have been on, you know, Microsoft and Amazon Prime stream streaming service for the insane amount of $21. And I guess I can't blame Funimation is going to make some sort of money for their episodes to keep going, so, um, yeah, um, you are able to go on Funimation.com and watch, and, well, no, well, well, yeah, watch the episodes and stream them from all 32 episodes, which I believe was from 575 to, I think, 587, um, that essentially covers, again, if you guys don't know that, it covers, like, the first couple of episodes, cover the um one piece z like little filler special they did to advertise for one piece movie actually i have it right here um they actually advertised this movie that's what the first episode's about or the first couple episodes about just advertising for this movie highly request you check out um one piece film z that's a really good movie if you haven't seen it um Really good movie. See that movie. Um, I'm thinking about reviewing the One Piece movies, but really see One Piece film Z if you get the chance. Um, and then it covers the first R, and then it covers the first half of them entering um Punk Hazard up to the point I think where they run into Trafalgar Law, and then that's it. I still have yet to watch you know all of them. I'm like on the first episode. I saw that the fact they finally released because earlier in the morning I was like, okay, it's June second. When are they releasing the episodes? And then I took like a nap, and then I woke up from my nap, and next thing you know, I go on Funimation.com, dot, um, dot well, the Now app on my Xbox, um, and I saw that the English dub episodes are ready and available to watch. Um, now, I know the one question you guys are probably going to ask me, like, well, do you guys need a premium account to watch the episodes for the English dub? Um... Um, I, like I said, I have not yet watched through all of them. Um, I could have skimmed through each and every one of them to see if they're able, but it seems like there is no, like, subscribing tag on it. I mean, you should be able to watch all the 13 episodes if you have a free, um, you know, Funimation account. Um, so yeah, now I think probably later on they'll probably make that, okay, you've seen the 13 episodes, subscriber only. Um, now can only watch them, but you can now, but I believe you can watch all 13 episodes of One Piece if you have a free account. So I guess, uh, I guess I'm saying like take advantage of this opportunity now because you already know Funimation, they're going to put those 13 episodes sooner or later behind the subscriber paywall. Um, and yeah, so not a lot of people are going to be happy when that happens. Um, so yeah, now you can be able to watch the 13 newest episodes when it comes to One Piece. Um. I don't know when the next set of episodes will come out. I heard they'll be coming out, I think, next month in July. I think they said July 9th, around that time. I don't know. I'm going to do some more digging. But like I said, when they release the next batch of episodes, I'll continuously do another update saying, hey, if you want to get these patch, these batch of episodes, you can buy them on the streaming service. And then they'll do the same thing going forward for the rest of the series. Um, and again, you should really check out... Um, the video you should really check out a video Funimation made like a few I think a week ago it was like I guess a one piece behind the scenes of how they make the English dub and I think you can say that goes for any sort of anime 
um, they made like the English, how they make the English dub for One Piece. And it was pretty interesting. And I guess to an instant, you can understand why it took them so long because they have to have all these licensings and stuff like that. And, you know, the, you know, get all these rights so they can achieve and start dubbing these episodes. And then it's just a long process. So it's like, after seeing that video, you got to give Funimation its props from like dubbing so many different animes in their company. So it's like, yeah, but, um, and then I guess another interesting thing I heard from that video is now Colleen Clinkenbeard, she did say she voiced all her Luffy lines at, for the Punk Hazard arc. Um, I don't know if that means the entire Punk Hazard arc is completely done and dubbed. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if they are. It just only, you know, mentioned, you know, her, her character Luffy's, um, lines in general. I don't know if, like, any of the other characters are in the, you know, their lines are done and the entire Punk Hazard arc is, like, you know, completely, um, done. Um, I guess another thing is, I did hear a Caesar Clown's voice before. Um, I even watched any of the episodes. Um, I liked Caesar Clown's English dub voice. Um, and I won't talk more, I won't talk, um, more about it, but, um, Maybe I'll do a 13-episode One Piece English dub, you know, return um, review about the 13 episodes and just my thoughts and, you know, how excited I'm back to the English, or how happy I'm ex at the fact that the English dub has returned. Um, because it's like, for the last couple of years, from what I've heard, it's like the only thing One Piece has ever dubbed was really, you know, for example, like the movies and then the specials. The, like, most recent one being yeah, One Piece Stampede being the movie that was the last dubbed thing. Um, so, you know, yeah. Um, no, who knows? There, there are a few specials and movies that, for One Piece, that they should dub. Um, now, I don't think they're going to dub any of the old movies. The only other, I guess, special I could see them dub was maybe the episode of Mary, which is, I guess, a retelling of the Ennis Lobby arc. Um, they could redub that. They could English dub that. You know, just as a special occasion, you know, because if they get the rest of those, who knows, who knows? Like, listen, everybody's happy the fact that the English dub is going to um, dub episodes. And I'll say I'm probably my 13 episode English dub review from the fact that, um, you know, it's great to hear the English dub voices, even if you don't like them. Um, you know, there are some fans who don't like them and who do like them. Look, you're each your own. Um, I don't really judge the actors for what they do. I like all the English dub actors, you know, from Luffy on to anybody else. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then, like I said, another thing, I guess, English dub related, if you wanted to look forward to is um, the English dub. Well, you know, Netflix is actually going to have the first two seasons of One Piece, which is the East Blue Saga and then the Alabasta Saga. Um, that is going to be English dub and sub. So for people saying, oh, Netflix only has the English dub, I ain't gonna watch that, but it makes no sense when, if you don't like the freaking dubbed version and you like the sub, you can just go to Crunchyroll, Verve, or Funimation and just watch all the freaking episodes in the subbed way you like it. Heck, even Hulu, they don't have all the seasons. Hulu has all the episodes of One Piece up to, like, the end of the Dressrosa arc, um, and that's all subbed, too. So it's like, you know, I don't know why people are... But if you had any worries, like, well, uh, I have a Netflix account. I don't want to see the first two seasons of One Piece. Um, you know, are they just strictly dubbed because the trailers show that they're dubbed? Um, no, they're dubbed and subbed. And that will actually be coming out, you know, next week, I believe, on June 12th. So look forward to that. So the One Piece craze is going crazy, especially, especially with the fact that, you know, everything's, you know, really going on, which, you know, stuff like that, yeah. The Netflix for One Piece will come out um, June twelfth, um, I believe June twelfth. Yeah, I believe I believe June twelfth, and that's on a Friday. Um, but if I'm wrong about that, I'll probably make a comment in the comment section, you know, helping that. So, anyways, guys, I'm just here to make this. I said a short video, but this is a ten minute video. Um, but I was here to make the video to tell you guys that the One Piece English dub is fully back, um, and it is on Funimation. Whether .com or the Funimation apps on your phone, your, you know, video game console, or you can go to your laptop to watch them, um, you know, good job. Um, you can able to stream them now, and you're able to watch them as of today. Um, 
please, j please watch these episodes the legal way. Like, literally, please. I'm not advertised by Funimation or Crunchyroll or any of these other places. I like to do YouTube for fun. I'm not advertised by any of these guys. But please watch anime the legal way, especially these new English dub episodes. Please watch them the legal way. Don't go to the illegal websites trying to watch them because, you know, stuff like that. Like I said, if you have the chance to watch the English dub episodes right now. I think you can watch all 13 episodes, you know, free of charge. And yeah, because it'd be actually it'd be pretty crappy for Funimation to do that. If they is like, oh, you can only watch the first of the 13 episodes for free. Everything else you have to have to um, a subscription to Funimation, but yeah, um, please, you know, support the official release because it only makes, you know, all the, like, Funimation actually, you know, get the money to be able to see it and see that there's a lot of, like, you know, passion and, and, you know, viewers watching the sh their show, so, other than that, yeah, um, so, like I said, um, whenever the next batch of episodes release, I'll make sure I make another One Piece English dub update, I kind of just doing this to keep the fans updated for English dub fans and yeah, so um keep going on. We're gonna get a new batch sometime next week. I believe they said the next DVD set will probably release around July 9th. Um so yeah. Um so hopefully, you know, things are going I'm gonna progress for the English dub to the point it's like we can get done with Punk Hazard and get to like probably one of the highly anticipated arcs that a lot of people want to see dubbed, which is the Dress Rosa arc. Because we've heard so many voices, like Doflamingo's English dub voice. We haven't heard him since Marine Ford um, in the English dub. So I really can't wait for... See, the dubs I can't wait for are Dress Rosa and Whole Kick Island. I cannot wait for those two arcs to be dubbed. Um, when I hear Dress Rosa and Whole Kick Island, which are two of my favorite arcs in One Piece, I cannot wait to hear those dubs, especially Whole Kick Island. That's going to be a treat. And then when just come to think of it, you know, Wano too. You know, I can't wait for the Wano arc to be dubbed as well, because that's going to be cool, especially with the new animation stuff. I cannot wait to see, you know, One Piece, you know, Luffy versus Kaido, you know, that fight dubbed. That's going to be a great, you know, showing for the dub when they get to that point. It's Now they got to worry about what to do to get to that point, but I know when they get to Wano, Luffy versus, versus Kaido, English dub, that's going to be good, and I can't wait. Um... So let's hope that the English dub don't take a break, like another year off break in between different arcs, you know, just to do like all this stuff. Hopefully they're like committed to like actually, you know, making these dubbed episodes and catching up to the anime. Well, to the subbed anime. Like, Jesus, right now is better, more, better of a time because the subbed is on hiatus right now. Um, but I do predict that the sub version will be coming back soon, probably either sometime this month or sometime next month. Um, so other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here, guys. So if you like this video, leave a like. Um, put in the comment section what you think, thoughts about the new episodes coming out and if you've seen them already. Um, as well as hit that subscribe button if you want to get more updates on terms of the One Piece English dub. Um, I also do One Piece, you know, episode reviews and stuff like that, as well as do other animes. Like, the only other anime thing I'm covering right now is going to be really Pokemon, Food War Season 5, and they're coming back. Um, and then I'm reviewing the chapters of My Hero Academia. So if you're into any of those animes or chapters, um, subscribe to get more content on those. I'm also reviewing re reviewing fairy tale arcs. Um, you know, the one anime only arc, the Key of the Starry Sky arc, I'm about I'm going to put that up on YouTube soon and I'm going to start Bolt recording the other arcs. I'm like, I know the next arc review I have to do is the Magic Games arc. But yeah, so if you want to get more anime content from me, hit that subscribe button. So till then, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Peace.